Amen. Amen. You looking to build some muscle? Well, you came to the wrong channel. <laughs> you need to go visit <laughs> Twin Muscle Workout, the Hodge Twins. Just paying a little homage to them. Uh, today I'm doing a uh, supplement review. It's on creatine ethyl ester. Uh, doesn't matter uh, which brand you use. Um, compared to creatine monohydrate, which is what came out first back in the uh, early 90s. Creatine monohydrate, I'll use it in a steroid terminology. Creatine monohydrate is kind of like, like Anadrol 50. It's a, Anadrol 50 was a highly anergenic. When you took that, you got big and you got strong and uh, it was highly anergenic and highly anabolic. And you put on weight, man. You just would just get strong and you just get huge. And when you went off, you shrunk back down. Uh, creatine ethyl ester, I compare that to like Anavar. Anavar was a highly anabolic drug, which you would put on quality size, quality muscle. You wouldn't blow it, wouldn't have any of the, you know, oily skin or the testicle shrinkage and all that other stuff. So, a lot of people that didn't want to get super big would take Anavar or they're cutting, they would take Anavar to keep them solid. Because when you get the gains, you, you, you went off, you keep them. So, that's how I compare monohydrate versus cre creatine ethyl ester. So, I've been on... Creatine ethyl ester for about uh, one month now. It says in a bottle here, take uh, three tabs before you work out, three tabs after. With me and creatine, I didn't know what to expect. So I started out just taking two tabs a day for the uh, first week. And um, within a couple days, man, I, I could feel a total difference. And it wasn't a placebo effect because um, I had more energy to go longer in the gym and I got actually a little bit stronger. And I was, I was looking up a lot of stuff and I, I might have had a creatine deficiency. I take a water pill, so I, I piss out a lot of vitamins and minerals and all that other stuff. So it probably pees out the creatine. So um, that's for my high blood pressure. But when I started taking the, uh, you know, the creatine ethyl ester, and then I went to three tabs a day. Um, I stayed on that for like two weeks. And my strength and everything has just gone up. My muscles, uh, they feel fuller, but not bloated. Um, the other thing is, um, as I've been dieting down, you know, originally in June, I was 405. And now I'm about 362. Last time I talked to you, it was 363 and a half, 364. Um, my muscles have stayed full. Like, I'll give you an example. Check out, check out the guns, dude. I did uh, chest and shoulders tonight, and then earlier this morning I did a split. You know, I did bicep. I mean, not bicep, but uh, back. My arms are still like 22s, and when they're pumped, they get even a little bit bigger. So, I'm now, um, I'm on a lower calorie um, um the, the, excuse me I'm tired lower calories than I was taking last week I just started cutting back down a little bit um, but the, going back to the creatine ethyl ester it's right on the money you know um, a lot of you guys you want to bulk up and get big then you know monohydrates the thing for you if you're a guy that just wants to be solider or wants to lose weight then creatine ethyl ester is your a person. Uh, is your person is your is your product. So, anyways, um, if you have any questions, email me, uh, comment. You know, I'll make a video. You know, back. Um, also, comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to be making an, uh, doing another uh, video on uh, other supplements I take and give you an update about. Um, what's going on with me at the gym. All right, take care.